My name is Fatma Dagar. I lead the transport uh, planning uh, network in Do. That is including the IP network, the optical network, as well as the microwave network. When we started the automation project, the network was based on uh, manual jobs. And the task was driven by human and, you know, it's, it's very, evident or you cannot avoid the human uh, error when you are uh, handling it manually. But now, since we uh, have, I think now three years uh, from the automation uh, project kicked in, I'm uh, very proud to say that automation is a successful story because all these routine jobs, now it's automated and it shrink the timing that we are handling it from days to hours and some tasks we are doing it in hours now in minutes that is have a tremendous uh, impact on the optics and i will give you one example we have uh, we used to have a lot of or we still have actually uh, a lot of devices that is uh, out, uh, not, uh, outdated in the software so we needed to do an upgrade for it, and that means I need to send someone to the sites, I need someone to do the actual work, do the configuration, and all of this was covered by the automation. So we cut down the, uh, the truck roll, we reduced the configuration cycle, and the CR was with minimum errors. And that is, a, for us, a win story. And uh, I would like to say that this is because of the collaboration with Nokia and NSP. Uh, we managed to reduce this and have a successful story. To manage multiple vendors in a, in a network with this uh, scale and this uh, huge number of routers, you need to be firm. And you need to have a tool that supports multi-vendor and it is agnostic. So uh, I would say that we managed to uh, enable that with NSP. We are right now uh, handling multi-vendors and that is including Nokia, Cisco, and uh, soon with the uh, other vendors uh, coming along. Not to forget that we are not only handling the IP, we are handling multi-domain, which is the OTN, as well as the microwave. And this is, was uh, projected in a, in a different use cases, whether it is assurance or uh, provisioning, as well as uh, uh, topology and uh, illustration for the uh, operation to, to be able to have an end-to-end -end visibility in a one pin, uh, a single pane of glass. What is next for automation? Automation for us is not uh, one step or one uh, project, it's actually a journey. And we didn't stop here. We actually thinking uh, to expand with automation by introducing the use case of slicing. And this slicing didn't come uh, from uh, nothing. It's actually came driven by the customer and enterprise, as well as to attend to the uh, demand of monetizing the network that we built. So the slicing that we are uh, uh, that we already developed was to attend to the requirement for a customer that needs a specific SLAs, such as bandwidth or latency. And we managed to develop uh, this use case in a, in, a, in a specific attributes in which it doesn't cross the customer SLAs. So how we monetize the network is uh, we give a priority for the uh, customer who chose to pick the slicing package. The customer who has the slicing offer, he will be having a, 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 a separate treatment, but he needs to pay for it. Mm -hmm.